first four uh, ROV Sebastian dives were at West Mata Volcano. Each dive we were visiting uh, different recent eruption sites that we know of. One of the most surprising things to me was seeing how much ash was uh, deposited as part of these eruptions. So we saw big piles of pillow lavas, but also covered with uh, meters of ash. So what's, what that is telling us is that eruptions near the summit are really explosive. In general, you don't expect eruptions in the deep sea to be explosive because of all the pressure from the ocean above. But at West Mata, that seems to be the usual case. One eruption was on the base of the volcano. And that one is really interesting because there the lava intruded into sediments and pushed the sediments up and then erupted around the base of it. So we've never seen that before. Even with photographs, uh, like from the Sentry vehicle looking down at the seafloor, you can't always tell what you're seeing from above. And it isn't until you get down on the bottom nice and close with the ROV that you know what you're looking at. And an example of that was on east of West Mata Summit, there were all these uh, distinctly very round features in the photographs and it looked like they were things poking up above the seafloor so we were scratching our heads at what those were and then when we finally dove in that area we saw that no they're not sticking up above the bottom they were actually holes in the sediment so it was the complete opposite of what we were envisioning and of course it made more sense so that was something we didn't know till we went down and looked. So at West Mata, where our first couple of dives have been, uh, those communities are really dominated by a particular species of shrimp called Opepele. Uh, along with them, there are kind of some larger, redded, uh, redder in color shrimp, Alvinocaris. You're going to see a few squat lobsters as well. Uh, we saw a few fish and some anemones on the rocks and some stock sponges. What is interesting is how these communities have changed. This is a really dynamic place and we've been here a couple of times uh, already and already we've noticed shifts in where these communities are found uh, along with the venting and the diffuse flow that we're seeing and as that chemistry moves, um, the, the animals associated with that moves as well. Our dive at Mata'ua was an amazing dive. The the variety and size of the chimneys that we saw there was absolutely incredible. Some of them were very diffuse flowing, sort of not as active, and they were covered in these beautiful barnacles that look like flowers on these chimneys. Um, of course, there's no plants down there, it's all animals. And there were these beautiful black beehive hot, hot chimneys that we sampled. Um, it was probably the most extensive chimney field that I've ever seen in the 20 years that I've been working with this. Um, I think that there's still a lot of secrets that we need to resolve out here. So it's going to be interesting. <laughs>